This is a 345,000 volt transformer. That thing way high above it is called a consummator. This thing is filled with oil. This transformer can pass 450 million volt amps of energy through it, or we'll call it watts for the purposes of this, which is easier. So 450 million watts, that's the tap changer. It's how it adjusts the output voltage. And that conservator is give or take half full of oil. And so everything below it is full to the brim with oil. And the oil is an insulating oil, which helps keep it from arcing on the inside because 345,000 volts is a lot of volts to have packed into a box. And so this way it can be packed in there without arcing. So the way this conservator works is there's a bag inside on top that separates the air from the oil so that the oil doesn't pick up moisture from the air because moisture inside here is bad because moisture can conduct electricity and we don't want that. And so the bag, which is separate from the oil, can expand and contract kind of like a cushion as the temperature rises and falls inside of this. And so that, that bag up in the conservator allows for that expansion and contraction and changing temperatures. And it also allows for that to happen without atmosphere ever touching the oil inside the transformer. So that's a handy thing to have. And this area around here is containment case there was ever an oil leak it's contained and it doesn't leak out into the environment and because this is a big high voltage transformer that's difficult to replace based on the uh, the California shootings you see these these walls these are meant to stop bullets or anything that might come in to harm the transformer so it's basically protection for this those are the high voltage bushings. And you see how they're bigger and taller. And then that's the high side of the transformer. And these are the low voltage bushings, 115,000 volts on the low side of the transformer. It's a little bit easier to see from this side. There's the 345,000 volt side, and there's the 115,000 volt side. And these big things here are radiators. And just like radiators on a car, they're meant to cool it so they can throw off heat. And if it gets too warm, these fans help push air across the oil in those radiators to cool it so that it can throw off heat as a lot of power is being pushed through it if it's under heavy use. These large transmission transformers are called auto transformers and that's because instead of two sets of coils where they might change configuration these are this is they're both Y configuration which means there's a, a neutral bushing which is this bushing here in XO and so the coils are tied to that XO and then at the top of the coil is 345,000 volts and partially down the coil it's tapped at 115,000 volts which comes out here and so instead of having two separate coils for each voltage it's just one set of coils for each phase all tied to that XO bushing. Here's a, here's a diagram of the connections in this case, it's actually an XOHO bushing because it's, it's both. Now, when I say coils, what I mean is windings. And those are copper windings wrapped around the iron core that makes this thing a transformer, which is part of the hum that you hear. How come a transformer hums? It doesn't know the words. But really, that hum is 60 hertz.
you hear that hum, that's the vibration of 60 hertz, the frequency of reversing positive to negative 60 times per second, alternating current as opposed to direct current.